As a family attorney, I know how stressful the holidays can be. Every year around November and December, I have to work a little harder to help my family law clients navigate through the holiday custody drama. But for those of you who don't have me on speed dial and on retainer, here are a few tips that can help you best deal with your holiday custody issues. The standard that the courts in Georgia use in determining custody is the best interest of the child standard. For holiday custody issues, I am constantly reminding my clients of this. Yes, you may despise your ex. They may have not been the best spouse, the best boyfriend or girlfriend, or even the best one night stand. But if they're a good parent, let them be a good parent. That benefits you and your child, and it's in your child's best interest. Your child loves the both of you and doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You making it difficult for the other parent is only going to put more stress, pressure, and guilt on your child. Put your personal feelings for the other parent aside during the holidays and do what's best for your child. Some parents have a great co-parenting relationship, but not everyone is that lucky. In that case, make sure you have a detailed and written parenting plan. In that written parenting plan, you and the other parent can decide however you want to set your holiday schedule. Some parents enjoy a split parenting plan where both parents get to spend the holidays with the child. Some parents enjoy it where you alternate years where one parent gets odd years and the other parent gets even years. Some parents may not celebrate some holidays. You determine how you want to have that parenting plan. However, make sure it is in writing. Once it's in writing and signed by the judge, it is an order and both parties have to abide by it. Remember, this order is just a fallback. You and the child's other parent can decide however you want to split your holidays. But in the instances where you don't agree, you have this order in writing to help make things easier for the both of you. So now you have a written custody agreement and it's time for your child to go spend the holidays with the other parent. You being visibly upset in front of your child is only gonna make this more difficult for your child. Don't do this. If you need to cry, you can cry in the car later. Don't let your child see this. It's not in their best interest. Encourage your child to be excited to wanna to go spend the holidays with the other parent. This will just make the transition from one home to the other easier for your child, and in turn, easier for you. If your child is old enough to have a cell phone, it's okay to contact them to check on them while they're with the other parent. You can also let your child know that they can contact you if ever they need to. However, if you're calling the other parent or your child every hour, you are interfering with the other parent's parenting time. The key word here is reasonable. In fact, Make sure that you have a provision written into your custody agreement that allows you to have reasonable daily contact with your child while they're with the other parent. However, if you're blowing up your child every hour or calling the other parent every hour, you are interfering with their parenting time and you're making it difficult for your child to adjust. You're the one causing the drama in this instance. During the holidays, make sure that you have your court order with you at all times. Whether you need to have it available in your hand, in your car, in the trunk, your glove compartment, email, text message, whatever you need to, make sure it is easily accessible and available to you. It's not just family members and lawyers to have to deal with the increased drama regarding custody issues over the holidays. Studies have shown that law enforcement calls are increased regarding custody and domestic issues over the holidays. Make sure you have that court order with you. It will be your saving grace. As your child grows older, the custody agreement that you initially entered into may no longer work. Be prepared to adjust. Work with the other parent in modifying and adjusting the child's custody agreement as need to. The agreement that you entered into when your child was three may not work when your child is 13. Always keep your child's best interest in mind. 
And when you adjust and modify that agreement, make sure that it's in writing and sign off by a judge so that way it's still in order. I'm attorney Chen Wei Foster with the Foster Law Firm, where we specialize in aggressive and effective representation. At the Foster Law Firm, we assist parents in navigating through the stressful times during the holidays. We can assist you in drafting a parenting agreement that works best for you and your family. If you're going through a divorce or a custody dispute and you need representation, give us a call at 404-525-3082. We'd be happy to help. And happy holidays from our family to yours.